for the day. Um, been out here almost a week, I guess. Mm -hmm. how's, how's the progress going? So yeah, I mean, I, I think there's a there's good back and forth. I think, you know, the offense will make some plays and the defense will make some plays. Is what you'd want. You know, you want that good competition on both sides of the ball. Uh, we're getting a lot of great work in, um, a lot of great scenarios. Um, you know, I think that, that's all good. You know, and we have added things as we have headed throughout this camp uh, on both sides of the ball. So some some of the guys, you know, some of the new guys, you know, head swimming a little bit with that, but that, that's to be expected. You know, you continue to coach through it um, and, and still, you know, getting a bunch of reps. So um, I think, you know, we're, we're still at a point where we're still adding things and putting stuff in and, and seeing which guys are making the plays. You know, the big thing about it is is, is having the effort and, and, and playing their butts off. You may not know what you're doing, but if you're playing hard, we'll get we'll correct that. So I think that, that's been good. That piece has been good. Today was the first day of tackling, so it was good to see. We, you know, we you know offensively, who's going to break tackles? You know, who's going to run through some of these arm tackles? Um, you know, we saw a little bit of that today, um, but I thought the defense had a good day today. I thought they got after it. I, you know, they got after the passer pretty good. We're in the backfield. Um, you know, a lot of times we let the play, let it keep going because we want to see the receivers and DBs making plays. But, um, but the pass rush was good. I, I, you know, DG is a guy that, that was in the backfield quite a bit, and uh, you know, you like to see that Corleone Briggs. Those guys are getting great push up front, and, which is good. Second team Jamal. Yeah. Oh, he, like he, he, had he, really he had a great day today. Yeah, he's. He lived in the backfield today in the uh, going against those twos, and um, you know is uh, you know today today we had a lot of scripted plays. You know what really wasn't much call at periods, and I think that is the disadvantage to the offense. You know it's third and eight, and we bring the ball right back, and it's third and seven. You know so it just makes it a little bit more difficult, and those guys can just pin their ears back and get after the quarterback. But he he had great effort, intensity, and was getting in the backfield, beating his block. That was great to see. I feel you feel like it feels. Like we got some pretty good depth uh, along that D line and those guys that are rushing the passer. You know, we feel like we can rotate some of those guys in and keep them fresh. That's going to be a really good thing as we get through the season. You talked about Shaman, yeah, being more physical, mm -hmm. being a little bit. It looked like he had a, a big hit in space today. Had a clean out block yeah. over here. Are you seeing more of that from him? We are. Um, you know, some good flashes in the blocking aspect. You know, and I, he can do it every. If he does it every time, he could be dominant. You know, and he's a big, strong guy with some twitch. And we know he can catch. We know he can run. Um, so I saw some of that today as well. Um, but I, I do think he's got a ton of potential. You know, and, and he's got to he's got to work hard every single rep and, and to be able to get that out of out of himself. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited about what he can bring. But uh, he's got he, he's doing good. You know, but he, but he's still got a lot more left in the tank. We got to keep getting it out of. You've been told this is this is your time to do this. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You know, and and you know, and he understands that. Um, you know, but you still, I think, still think you got to you got to know that you're the man, and you got to go out there and bring it every rep. You know, uh, there's some good guys. There's some guys out here that he really can can look at and see how the intensity and effort every single rep. You don't take. I don't have time to take a playoff, and so. Um, I think if he can do that, um, you know, he can be one of these guys that'll be, um, you know, one of our one of our better players on our team. If things get chippy, is it all right to let it go a little bit, or do you? Yeah, I mean, on it or what? you know, when you get to this point in camps, particularly when you're when you're hitting and tackling today, you, you're going to have some of that. You know, guys get a little frustrated or whatever, and you're going to have some of that. But I'll tell you, they've done a great job. We hadn't had any of that. You know, we had one little scuffle today, but other than that, we hadn't had any of that. You know. We want to get out here and get work done. It, it wastes time. I don't like it. Um, you know, we've talked about it. Um, I understand if it does happen because we want our guys to fight. You know, we want our guys to, when I say fight, fight in the play, <laughs> and not literally fight. Um, you know, so, you know, and I think I think they've done a good job with that. But you're going to have – and we may see some more throughout camp. Guys get a little bit frustrated. I understand that. As long as we're, you know, being smart about it and uh, getting right back to the next play, we'll, we'll be fine. I've heard a couple times when talking about being out here that mm -hmm. this is a place that – develops toughness mm -hmm. what, what does that mean to you when you hear that yeah I mean because you know it's you're it's ball the whole time you're out here like you know and people say toughness I think it's, it's more mental yeah. toughness you know you know it's, you, we know football's physical uh, but it's the mental grind that you're out here you know you're you're, you're out here we're meeting in the morning starting what early in the morning all the way to late at night um, it starts to wear on you a little bit you know um, you don't see anything else but trees you know <laughs> and some buildings so um, but that, that's, that's as, you know, it's kind of a, a fabric of the Bearcat football, you know, the last 25 years. Um, it's a, it gives you that little bit of an edge. And, um, and here's what else I've, I've seen since we've been out here is just a, the chemistry and the, and the tightness. You can start seeing some of that starting to come together. The guys really get to know each other. You know, at night we have these meetings and, uh, you know, we, we get a player to talk and a coach to talk. And they really, you know, they tell their story, you know. And so I think if you start to understand where somebody's coming from, 
and where they've been and where they are now, um, you know, you start to appreciate and respect them a lot more. And I, you just start seeing that those guys coming together. So that, I think that's part of this too as well. You talked about decision making with the quarterbacks. What have you seen from Emory Jones in those red zone situations that you guys? Have yeah, I think you know, I think Emory's had a really good camp so far, um, throwing the deep ball really well. Um, again, we're throwing a lot of stuff at him. You know, a lot of a lot of offense and a lot of defense. You know. We, we're seeing everything out there, and so which is good for him. And and I think he's he's done a good job taking care of the football. That's the main thing that we ask the quarterbacks to do, take care of the ball. Um, and but he's distributing it well, you know. And, and we're learning every day. So I think um, you know I'm very pleased where he's at right now at this point in camp. To piggyback off Jamal Gillison made a few plays out there. How, yeah. how exciting oh, to Gilly. see that? Yeah, no, it was great. Gilly made some great plays out there. Whether it be pass rushing yeah. or dropping off in the coverage, he made some really good plays. He's where he's supposed to be. He's a very conscientious uh, player, uh, you know, and, and he's fun to be around. And, uh, you know, it's, it's awesome to be able to see him make plays because now that's creating that depth that we need. You know, DG's in that spot, but if he comes in, it doesn't really fall off. You know, Jamal's out there. And so it, it's, you know, I really feel good about some of the depth of some of those key positions, and that's one of them. As you took this job, did you have any inkling that Big 12 would become what it's become when you added schools and it's bigger than what you would have to Yeah. Be? No, you know. But nothing surprises me in college football anymore. Uh, I mean, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, I, even a long time ago, you, you, you talk to people have talked about, you know, teams moving up. I was a part of it at App State. We went from the you know, Division I AA or FCS to the Sun Belt Conference. We moved into a new conference, you know, and now we're moving into this conference, and now we're adding more teams. So, I mean, it feels like there's just a lot of change that's happened over the last 10 or 15 years. Um, you know, you, you hope it slows down. I mean, I have no idea where we're headed, where we're going. Um, you know, I understand. I've you know heard a few things out there about you know realignment and all that. But but really and truly, um, I can't control any of that. What I can control is how these kids come out here and perform and play. And that, that's kind of what we've been worried about. You know, is how hard can we come out here and, and give this effort and play and put together a team that we're going to be very competitive when we, when we head to Big 12 this fall. Were you looking more regional and all that, and, and now you're having to look out west because no, you might be playing on that. No, I, I don't think so. I mean, I think we're our, our recruiting department does a great job of identifying players, uh, no matter where they are, you know, and, and we'll see which one's fit for us. We're, we're looking for, for the kind of player that's going to fit our program. That's what we're, I don't care where you are. But we're looking for those kind of players going to fit our program. And if we can get them from within three hours, that's where we'd prefer to get them. One more for Coach. Running backs, uh, how did you like their physicality today? Yeah, they hit? that was good. You know, it's it nice to see because if you're not tackling, you don't really understand, you know, how, how I can finish this run. I mean, nobody's trying to bring you down. So now it's live. That's in your head. I got to be able to run through tackles. I got to break them. I got to maybe spin. I got to, you know, rip through. I want to see their balance, you know, when they're making those cuts. And um, that's, it's going to be I'm interesting to go back on the film to see that. Um, see those guys that can break those tackles. We got to have, we got to have that, you know, and uh, be able to have some big plays out of the run game. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, coach.